trip trap trip trap trip trap trip trap Ugh. who's that trip trapping across my bridge it's me daddy billy goat gruff oh billy goat gruff mmm delicious come here i want to eat you eat me oh no you won't up into the air ah ah help and daddy billy goat gruff he trip traps across the bridge to where the grass is green and delicious to eat trip trap trip trap trip trap trip trap <laughs> hello i'm miranda and i teach young children english as a second language through drama and this is my shadow puppet theater and if you're also an English language teacher and you're looking for a theatrical way to bring stories to life in your lessons, Shadow Puppet Theatre can be an idea. And in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to make your very own Shadow Puppet Theatre and characters. So first of all, let me take all of these things away and then let's get on to making our own Shadow Puppet Theatre. So first of all, let me turn this light off. There we are. Light is very, very important for your shadow puppet theatre. So, obviously. So here we have a light. I'm going to put this puppet theatre away for just a second. So, and I'll put this away too. So I have some more space on my table. Here are our puppets. If you haven't guessed it by now, the story is of the three billy goats gruff and the troll who lives under the bridge who wants to eat all of the billy goats for dinner. Mmm, delicious. So, first of all, let's see, what do we need to make our own puppet theatre, shadow puppet theatre? For what, the one that I've shown you today, I used this. This is going to be your main ingredient for your shadow puppet theatre, and this is called polycarbonate. It's a sheet of polycarbonate, which is actually very, very similar to cardboard, but instead of cardboard, instead of paper, it's made out of plastic and it's waterproof, it's very resistant, it's very light, and you can um, cut it very easily. It's very versatile uh, product. And you can find this um, polycarbonate paper, sheets of paper, in any DIY do-it-yourself shop. So this I use for the making of the puppet theatre. I'm going to show you a smaller version because your puppet theatre you can make any size that you want. I've made this giant one because then with my students I like to get them behind the the, the shadow puppet theatre so they can actually operate the, the puppets themselves as well. But you can make any size theatre puppet, um, puppet theatre rather, that you want. All you need to do is cut to size your polycarbonate sheets. You need to have two sheets of polycarbonate exactly the same size because one is going to be the front of your theatre here and then the other piece you're actually going to, if you can see it's exactly the same size, but you're going to cut it in half. So you have two halves and those are going to be the flaps of your theatre puppet, your puppet theatre, <laughs> the flaps for them that will help your theatre stand up. Okay, so then what you'll need is some tape. Now this is a special tape that, well, it's an insulating tape. You know the, the, the tape that electricians use to insulate wires? Um, it's like a bit rubbery. And I use that because you can actually stick it onto this plastic and unstick it really easily. Um, it's, it's very handy to have. So if you have a toolbox, you might have it already in there. I, I stole this from my husband's toolbox, but shh, don't tell him. <laughs> so what I have done is I have actually placed on these two flaps a long strip of black tape, of the black electrician's tape. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to fix the main part of the theater to the flap yes so i'll just place them on the table and then i'll just position them like that i haven't done it stuck it very well but just to give you an idea and there we have our 
one side of our theatre, yes, and we'll do the same to the other side. Don't try and stick them too close together, just leave a tiny bit of a gap because that will help them bend easier. I've stuck this one a little bit too close and it hasn't bended very well. This one, let me see if I can give it a little bit more space. There we are. Look, there you see, that's bended really well and I've stuck that too close so it's not bending so well, but it gives you an idea. And there we have it, there's the basis for your shadow puppet theater. Now, what is missing is your window. So you're going to cut out a square in the middle here. And if you want to, like I've done on my shadow puppet theater, you can cut out two windows on your flaps as well. Or if not, if you don't want to, just leave them like that and decorate them. I've decorated my puppet theater with stars, for example, to make it a little bit more fun. Um, so how are you going to, once you have, cut out your window here. What are you going to use behind it to make the shadow, the magic come alive? <laughs> so this is the fun part. Let me show you, let me fold that there. Um, what you're going to need is, ta -da! surprise, <laughs> a bin liner, a rubbish bin liner. <laughs> it's really, really simple, really cheap to make, and um, it has to be white. So don't, <laughs> don't use a black, rubbish bin liner because you won't be able to see any shadows. It has to be white. So cut it, you need one layer, so cut it to size. And then if I show you again my puppet theatre here, I have just stuck it using the same electrician's tape again to the back of the theatre here just with bits of tape. You stretch it, it needs to be stretched tight, yes, and then you attach it here. Then what you can do is make some scenery. For example, I have used the, the polycarbonate card again and I have built my bridge here and I've used um, a paper cutter to make holes in the bridge here. Then I have also made a sun. Now, can you, I don't know if you can see that. Can you see that it's, it's, it's yellow? Because I really cut a hole in the middle of the sun and I used coloured gels, a gel paper, which I'm going to show you in a moment, to cover the sun. And that gives it, when you have the light source behind it, it, it makes it colourful, it gives it colour. So there we have it. Let me show you from the front. There I have also the side flaps, which I have also um, put cut out. And then I have stars at the front. And that, that's it. That's all you need to make your shadow puppet theatre. Okay, really, really simple. So now let me show you how to make the paper uh, characters. That's the next one. So what you're going to need for this, here we have my, let's put this away for the moment. You're going to have your shadow um, puppet characters here. Now, how do you make them? What you need to do is to either draw an illustration on some card or print an illustration, just a black and white illustration like this one and then stick it to black card because it's the black that is going to make the, the, the shadows on the screen. So it has to be black, not another color. Black card, once you've stuck it to that, then cut it all out, okay? Then you're going to need some sticks. Now sticks, you can have some chopsticks, you can have chopsticks or you can have um, those barbecue skewers you can use. Or for example, I have these um, little wooden puppet sticks. Now, how do you stick these to these? <laughs> this is the question. Now, um, what I suggest that you use is this Velcro. Da -na -na -na. Now, Velcro, all you need is corresponding parts of Velcro. You're going to stick one Velcro piece here. Yes, I use this with a hot glue gun to stick it on here. And you're going to stick the other piece, the corresponding piece of Velcro to the back of your colored illustration, of your cutout illustrations. So then you can stick your sticks on there like that. Can you see like that really easily? And you can unstick them whenever you want. So <laughs> you don't have to have 3 million sticks. Yes, you can just stick one to that, unstick here and stick that to that. And there you have your simple cutout shadow puppet 
characters. Um, with, the, with the troll who lives under the bridge, if you notice here, I have cut out his eyes and his tummy and I have used that colour gel again and I have um, covered his tummy and his eyes and his eyes are green there. And I'll show you what I've used for that here. These are, are the gels that I use. Colour gel, so you just cut to size so you can make all different, different illustrations and, and different colours. And they're great fun once you see them on the, on the puppet theatre. Great fun. So those are your, um, your characters. Now you can make, as I said, any size theatre that you want. You can make it really small, you can make it really gigantic, as I can show you here. For example, I've got a little mini one, a smaller size one with my characters. Yes, the same idea. You're still going to use your um, Velcro to stick them on. So there you have your you can see that there and the daddy billy goat there and the monster who lives under the bridge the troll mm, delicious billy goats lovely so i'll show you again the big version and you can see it all put together and then i want to see your versions too so i can't wait to see what you make at home um right so let me clear all these off first of all remember to get your light and I'll show you how to position your light as well, which is very simple. But you need to have a strong light because if you have a weak light behind your light source, if it's a tiny little light, then that will show that you won't be able to see the shadows very well. So you need to have quite a powerful uh, light source. But this is quite a good idea because you can stretch it and you can position it however you want. So here we have, again, the last time, the big shadow puppet theater let me place it like that so you can see it then i turn on my light source you position the light directly behind yes and you can see my hand there and then you're all set and ready to go with your shadow puppets let me see if i have a couple here that i can show you before we go to tell the story of the three billy goats gruff who go trip trapping, trip trap, trip trap trap across the wooden bridge. Oh, <laughs> there we are. So I'm going to carry on playing here now. <laughs> right. And so I hope your kids really, really enjoy playing with the Shadow Puppet Theatre. And I can't wait to see your versions too, big and small. Okay. <laughs> so thanks for watching. And until next time, remember, be theatrical.